2023 elections. Falano reacts to attack on ANEC offices, reveals real enemies of Nigeria. Okay, let's understand him now. Lawyer and human rights activist Femi Falano has described those frustrating annex electoral reforms as the real enemies of progress in Nigeria. Falano made this assertion while reacting to the recent attack on annex office in key states of the country. Meanwhile, on Sunday, November 27, suspected talks raised annex office in a burning state and materials were burnt to ashes. Femi Falano, a lawyer and human rights activist, has raised the alarm that enemies of progress are frustrating the Independent National Electoral Commission's reforms. The INEC has introduced many reforms ahead of the general election in 2023. Among them is the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVS, and the electronic transfer of results. Hmm. But Falano, while reacting on China's television Sunday politics to the latest attack on INEX facility in a burning state, said many enemies of democracy were bent on frustrating INEC daily trust reported. Several permanent voter cards and other items were destroyed when some hoodlums set the INEC office in the easy local government area of a burning state on fire on Sunday. Right? So Falano, who expressed disappointment over the government's inability to stop the wave of attacks on INEX facility, posited that there were people who didn't want the elections to hold in 2023. The, the activist said elections might not hold in many parts of Nigeria, claiming that 616 local government areas of the country had been taken over by non-state actors. He called on security agencies in the country to ensure that the Ebony State attack would be the last ahead of the elections. And that is true. So meanwhile, the Labour Party's uh, presidential candidate, Peter B, has been told whom to consult and visit to emerge um, uh, victorious in the 2023 general elections. At the LP National Retreat on Monday, September 12th in Abuja, a renowned Nigerian human rights lawyer, Femi Falano, stated that Obi cannot get power by visiting those who destroyed Nigeria. So here, Falano is going further in his write-up to also um, tell Obi who he needs to consult with to be able to win elections, and that he can win elections by just uh, visiting those who already who destroyed Nigeria, who are the architect of the failure of Nigeria. They don't have anything to offer, and that the bees should not bother to visit them. Okay? And those are the advice, because we understand Falano is already for Labour Party and is in support of Peter B being the president. That is it. And that is the big one from Falano there. All right? So Falano is just saying here, during the retreat also mentioned by the punch, Falano advised the former Anambra governor to go to labor and trade unions, youth and women organizations, which, in his opinion, have the largest structure across the country. And that is true, and that is what is currently happening. Labor unions are the people supporting, the youths uh, are the people supporting, and all the private entities are the people supporting the Peter B's ambition. It's only um, those, those, those old, 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 old political cargoes that are having their thugs going behind them as their supporters. And that is true. That is true. So that is what we have here. Uh, Falano has just, uh, you know, shown some kind of um, um, unhappiness, a kind of, um, you know, resounding anger, all right, against the people that are perpetrating this 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 crime uh, in nigeria but my my own take is this the same government that is not able to handle the insecurity problem in nigeria the same government that is not able to protect lives and property of nigerians 
against the bandit, against the Boko Haram, the ASWAP, the Fulani headsmen. So is this same government, will they be able to protect INEC election materials in all INEC offices across the nation? Because this remains a security, it's part of security challenge. Because bandits or people, arsonists committing this crime by burning down INEC properties across the country is a security challenge. It means that both the federal government and INEC itself, they are not able to protect the election material under their custody. And that is a big challenge. If they are not able to protect and secure materials that have been produced, meant for the elections coming 2023, how will they protect Nigerians and the electorates that will be at the polling units to vote? It means that somebody can just come with a gun and fire everybody's lining up to, 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 to vote. It means that they will have adequate security coverage across all the polling units in the country. There's, there's, something, there's something fishy here. And the government is looking at it. Last week, they told us that, uh, they told us that INEC had a meeting with key stakeholders, with security agents, with all of the... Um, 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 security agencies in Nigeria and have de they have deployed them to all the INEC offices across the Federation to protect INEC election materials. Now, just a week down the line after that stakeholders meeting and the, and the so-called deployment of security agencies to all INEC offices, another uh, arson has just been committed in the Boeing state. How can we explain this in this country? It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. That the federal government cannot protect properties, cannot protect lives, cannot protect even materials meant for ordinary elections. Ah, uh, this is disappointing. Very, 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 very appalling. Very, 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 very appalling. Very, 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 very appalling. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. Now, a lot of people now will be scared of going to vote, knowing fully well that they may not be properly protected at the polling unit. Somebody saying, to ensure that the forthcoming general election in Nigeria holds as planned, top-notch security should be provided at all INEC facilities nationwide to put a stop to this incessant burning of the INEC offices. They had a meeting. We even with IG called for that meeting. It was IG that organized that meeting and brought in INEC, brought in other security agencies and other stakeholders to first of all show uh, campaign violence. And then in that meeting, they also confirmed that was even the second of the meeting. The first meeting was organized by INEC. All right. And and they said they have deployed security security outfit to all the INEC offices across the nation. And that came immediately after the INEC office in Oshu State was burnt. Now, Oshun and Ogun were the two uh, first ones that were burnt. All right? And now they set up that meeting with the fear that this, if this continues, it might affect the elections. Now, election is around the corner. The meeting has been held, but we can't, we can't see the outcome. Now, wow. Now, wow. Somebody say, which security are you talking of, my brother? Is security is not in Kujay prison? And the, and the Boko Haram, all right, and bandits came to remove their members? Forget security in Nigeria. Only God will secure you. Obey the last order. <laughs> Can you imagine? Eh? This thing is, this thing is funny. Somebody is saying... All I will say is all the enemies of progress, all right, has failed and they will keep failing and fading away to their last drop. They don't belong here and they own nothing on this earth. Their days of existence here on earth are numbered. Here comes their end for eternal, uh, yeah, for eternal punishment. It's true. These are enemies of Nigeria. I have to say the truth. Eh? These arsonists are paid to do this. They are not just doing it ordinarily. And it's quite unfortunate that we're in this mess. 
And government is proving now or is showing that they will not be able to secure election material. I don't talk of securing electorates during the vote, during the election period. They can't secure uh, INEC offices. They can't secure anything. Now, wow. It's okay. Let's, God will help us. But even before God helps us, we're supposed to do our part. But unfortunately, we are failing to do our part as a people and as a government. So thank you for listening, and uh, let's have your comment below. This is Femi Falano's position, and uh, it's not a very good one. Uh, he's just, uh, you know, telling everybody that the government who is supposed to uh, be able to provide uh, protection for lives and properties, they are failing to do that, and this is unfortunate.